Well, what do you think about that? What do you think about impeaching Joe Biden? Just right off the top of my head, I say no, no, no. And, and let me explain why. It's Thursday, May 9th, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From the Daily Wire, Cotton urges House to impeach Biden over Israel weapons controversy. You see, right now, uh, you know what I want? And I guess it's just, I'm, I'm asking for too much, I guess. I, I just want Republicans to be more strategic. I, I just want them to, to, you know what I want? I want Clarence Thomas. I, I, I want Marjorie Taylor Greene. I want Matt Gates. I want, I want, you know, Chip Roy. I want, I, I want, I want someone who can think outside the box. That's what I want. I want someone who is dispassionate and only cares about America. That's what I, that's what I want. And I guess, I guess I'm not going to get that. It's like asking for a unicorn. Because he, he, this is how I see this. Right now, we have them over a barrel. Donald Trump is blowing up across every demographic. Hispanics, black people, the only, the only demographic that we're not just killing it in are, you know, white liberal women. I was like, okay, I'll take this. Because if you get enough black people and you get enough Hispanics, we're the, the Democrats are done. Again, all I, I just want to win. Now, some of you were thinking, well, you know, uh, Stu, uh, they're going to be loyal to Joe Biden. Democrats are going to be loyal. What are you talking about? Have you, uh, where, did, where, why are you in this class? How did you get here? They're not loyal. Democrats can't spell loyal. I take that back. You know how Democrats spell loyalty? P O W E R power. They are loyal to power. And maybe just maybe if we give them the out to 86 to finally, finally get this albatross off from around their necks. Guess what ends up happening? I'll tell you what happens. Kamalama. And who do you think they're going to usher in? That's right. Gruesome Newsome. And he's just slick enough to make these non-thinkers vote for him. But right now, they are stuck. They, they have this Joe Biden. See, I, to, I at first I didn't get it. My little brother was saying, no, 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 we're not impeaching him. No, 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 no way, no way. Mm -mm, this is your man. This, this, this is the one you brought to the dance. But now we're getting to the slow jams. So now you got to get real close and snugly with him. And he's going to be sniffing your hair. He's going to be grinding on you. And you're going to have to go home with him. And he's going to be asking for drinks and other things. This is the person you brought to the dance. Well, this is the person you're going to dance with. No, you don't get to switch parties. 
You don't get to switch partners. You don't get to do the, well, you know, you know, he's, he's really old and I don't know if he knows the latest, you know, moves. I'm sure he doesn't know the latest moves. He can barely walk across the South Lawn. So I'm just asking, just think strategically. Remove yourself from your hatred for Democrats and Joe Biden. Think, if you give the Democrats an opportunity to get rid of him, I that's a risk I don't want to take. I, I, you, I, I'm, I'm, okay, maybe I haven't thought this through, which is fine. I understand that. It's possible. Maybe I didn't think it through. But right now, we got Donald Trump killing in all demographics and we got a Joe Biden had his, who has been placating to Teletubbies in Gaza. He's placating to miscreants on college campuses. He is an Albert. They would love to get rid of him. And I don't want to give them the opportunity. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I am. Maybe they love Joe Biden. Maybe they, 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 just, they just relish in all of his, you know, bumblings and fumblings and trying to shuffle across the South Lawn. And maybe, maybe that's true. I just don't, I don't buy it. I think Democrats are loyal to power. They're loyal to winning. That's all they see. All right, I'm sorry, man. I this I <laughs> All right, before we go any further, why don't you wreck that like button? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. I just uh yeah, I I don't I don't, I don't like this. The GOP led house should impeach President Joe Biden for suggesting the United States could halt weapons going to Israel if it launches a full-scale ground operation in the southern Gaza city of Rafah, a Republican senator said on a Thursday. Now, um some of you may be thinking, "Stu, Stu, Stu, you're playing politics with Israel." You know, the, 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 these are the uh, these are the munitions they need. What 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 what, what are you doing? Firstly, they have already started their assault, and I showed you video. They're not waiting for Joe Biden, and my guess is they are more than capable of not only starting it, but finishing it. And by the way, I have, maybe some of you haven't been following the channel. I have no loyalty to Gaza. I have no loyalty to the Teletubbies in Gaza. I have no loyalty. I don't, I don't care that much about them. But apparently, Joe Biden is having to, placate because he's desperate to get that voting block back. Now, some of you think that I'm playing politics with Israel. No, I'm not. If I thought for a second, you know, wow, they're, they're, they're in a bad spot, you know, and, and, and maybe, you know, the, 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 these Teletubbies are going to go after them again and they're going to, you know, go even harder this time. And, and they have no way to, if I thought that I would be like, okay, yeah, um, we need to get the weapons there, but that's not what's happening. That's not reality. That isn't happening on the ground. They have already started their assault. Senator Tom Cotton, 
made the case against Biden by referring back to the first impeachment probe against former President Donald Trump related to his administration holding up security aid to, uh, to Ukraine while he sought a favor from, his, from its leader ahead of the 2020 election. I, I already went over that yesterday, so I'm not going to go over it now. Okay, but just, just stop and think for a second. Joe Biden has been a net minus to the Democrats. When they're out there campaigning, they don't want him on the stage with them. When he's out there, you know, fundraising, they have to call out Obama and Clinton and Hillary. I mean, they got to they got to call out the big guns. What do you, why do you think that is? Why, why can't Joe Biden fill up an arena like Donald Trump can? Donald Trump is filling up arenas. And so I, I'm, I, okay. I, I could be, it's possible. I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I'm being, you know, too emotional about this. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, count that out. It could be that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this too emotionally. I don't, I don't think I am. I think that you want to, you want to keep Joe Biden in the forefront. I think you want you you want to keep him uh, bumbling and stumbling into furniture, and you want to keep him there. You don't want to give Democrats the opportunity to move him out to pasture. You you don't want to do that. If you're thinking somehow that Chuck Schumer is loyal to Joe Biden, if you think for a second that Adam Schiff is loyal to Biden, if you think that Dick Durbin is loyal to Biden, honey, 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 honey. I just, I really know, I don't know how you got in this class. You, 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 you haven't been to, you know, Stuart Allister edition 101 first. You gotta go there first. Get the lay of the land. So I don't know, man, I could, I could be dead wrong. I just, I don't want to give them the opportunity. See, right now, we have all the cards. Why would we start dealing them new ones? Oh, all of these cases against Trump are falling apart left and right. We, we... <laughs> It's just, I, I guess, like, that's what it meant. It just like the GOP to, 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 to lose the victory because they had no strategy. <laughs> like, I guess, you know, hey, man, maybe I'm, I, hey, I'm, I'm not the smartest guy on the planet. I don't know. I didn't go to political school. I, I don't know. I just know that when people go to a burger joint and they got to pay $18 for a burger and fries, that's going to be a problem. When people drive someplace and they want to go on a vacation with their family and gas is through the roof, huh, I think that's a problem. I think when... Fourth of July is about to roll around and people want to go outside and bar barbecue and get ribs and hamburgers and hot dogs and all of that food is going through the roof. I think that bugs people. And I think that you want to tie the person that did that. You want to tie that around the neck of Democrats because they're the ones that voted for this. They did it. I know it breaks law because he's not, you're not allowed to do this. You have congressionally approved funds. And so now for political reasons, he's holding them up. I understand that. 
And I, I, I know this sounds counterintuitive. I'm telling you, let them. Because at the end of the day, when we go home from the dance, we're going home with Donald Trump. They have to go home with Joe Biden. Who do you think is going to have the better time? All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless. Thank <laughs> you.